We are at the Billy Graham Library tonight, and we are here with friends of the library, and we're here tonight to share some behind-the-scenes stories uh, with these folks, uh, some things about Uncle Billy, some things uh, that they may not know about how the library got here. One important fact that uh, a lot of folks don't know, and that is when my Uncle Billy was young, there was a great evangelist by the name of Billy Sunday, and my granddaddy and some other farmer friends here in Charlotte used to gather on our dairy farm on Park Road and pray that God would lift up another evangelist to replace uh, Billy Sunday. Because he, you know, Billy Sunday was old. And they met Saturday after Saturday and they prayed and prayed and prayed. Fast forward after a couple of years, shortly after Uncle Billy received Christ, Billy Sunday died. When they were praying for another evangelist, they had no idea that it would be Uncle Billy off of that very dairy farm. You never know what God has in store. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. We had a number of our friends of the library here tonight. Friends of the library are people who commit to giving $20 a month or more each month to help support the ongoing work of the ministry here at the library. A friend of the library to me is someone that really believes in what the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association is doing. We need to carry it on for the generations. We need to keep this going. It is a legacy for life eternal. It's about an ongoing crusade for as long as we're here on this earth. I do not believe any of us are here by chance. God has brought each of us here for a purpose. The library is not about Billy Graham. It's the story of a man who has been about his father's business, faithfully preaching the message of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world. Everything we do at the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association has its foundations in making known the truth of the gospel.